See that's like a little burning smell. The engine is just kind of being strained a little bit. So look, I'm gonna start it up. It's still gonna die because we have an idle screw. Very, um, see that? So our idle screw is turned very low. So we'll start off. It's better actually work your way because you don't want to burn your engine. Um, you don't want to actually, what do you call that? When the engine freezes on, you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is, see my idle screw is, it was over here, it was a dab, but my idle was probably. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this. Okay, this is where it's closed at. We're going to give it a full turn at least. Wait, let me make sure it's a full turn. Okay, here we go. This is where it's parked at. So we're going to give it one. Make sure again. This is half a turn. This is a full turn. Or maybe it's in the other end. Let me make sure. I'm, okay, here we go. I'm going to follow that one bead. Slowly. It needs to come back to the other side. Okay, that's one complete turn. And then we're going to give it another half turn. That's another half turn right there. So it has a turn and a half. And then we'll probably need to dial in our, our idle screw here. Not just our idle and richer screw. So I'm going to go and tighten this down clockwise. Give it a couple clicks. And let's see how this fires up. There you go. It looks like it's okay. It's still putting. See there. It's still putting. So what means it we want to quiet the engine down just like it's not struggling or it's not like <laughs> out of breath. So you can see here I'm, I'm increasing my richer, I mean my idle screw. I can do it here that way. Just do it turn. You want the engine to run like smoothly. Vibrating and shaking a lot, it's not good. That means you're not getting the right mixture. You want it to just kind of rave smoothly. So you're going by ear. This one looks like the wheel almost wants to take off. This one, I'm gonna rave it up. Alright. Wonder why our RPM is not showing here. It's connected. I don't know, that's a connection for it. That's interesting. Maybe it has to be running or something. Test run. I think we we'll probably do that. Let me see. Let me go and hang it up. I'm gonna try and hang it up here onto my ram case. Okay, you can watch me take it off the pin pad. Let's get everything out of the way. Get all the tools out of the way. Nothing sharp. Put that in here. Now my phone's about to die shortly, but. I want to actually get rich and then lean it out. I just don't want to feel like my engine is struggling. So let me go and get this dialed in a little bit more. Lefty, it's going to give it more richer. And you can hear a different sound of the engine. You can see here 
the crank tube ventilation. Look at that. See all that ventilation? Go ahead and look at how it's riding. See that? <laughs> That's your crankcase ventilation coming out. Your positive crankcase ventilation. That's a little bit way too much turn. See that? It's quieting the engine now. But it's almost quiet to the point where it's going to die. And you don't want that. You want it to sound subtle. Oh, there you go, see? Killed it too much. Went too lean. Yeah. Went too lean. Even though with that many cranks of turns. So let's do this again. One. Let me make sure I'm always confused.